Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And welcome to the Wednesday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. Now this morning we continue in Psalm 119 and reading verses 11 and 12 from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. And Lord, as we come into your holy presence to pause and to reflect on your word, Lord, we pray that you would quiet within us any voice but your own. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, Psalm 119, verses 11 and 12. I have hidden your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. As we continue on looking at these verses from Psalm 119, the psalmist says, I have hidden your word in my heart. That's part of what we do as we spend these moments each day reflecting on God's word. We're planting his word in our hearts. We're hiding his word in our hearts. And the reason why we do that is so that we can bring it to mind easily, quickly, when we need it most. And there are times that you, that if you're at all like me, where you will find yourself in a situation and the Lord will bring to mind a word, a verse, maybe a passage to help you, to encourage you, to strengthen you. And it's not because you have a Bible in front of you that you can, you can quickly turn to and read. It comes from your heart. Because every time you spend a moment in God's Word and you take in a verse or two and you reflect on it, that gets planted in your heart. And it comes to mind. And you may not be able to quote the chapter and verse. That's okay. You may not even quote it word for word. That's okay. The message behind the word is planted deep in your hearts. And God will bring it to mind when you need it. And I can't tell you the number of times when I have been in a situation where without even knowing it, God has, has, or without even knowing that I needed it, God has brought to mind a verse to help me, to help me through that situation, to, to give me a word that I can share to encourage someone else. And that's why it's so important for us to spend time in his word. And so the psalmist says, I have hidden your word in my heart. And there's a reason why he, he says he has done that. That I might not sin against you. That's one of the benefits of, of having God's word in our hearts. Is that it, it helps us to not sin against God. Because when we are tempted to, to do something that may not be in keeping with God's word, Holy Spirit will bring to mind a verse to convict us, to stop us in our tracks, to help us fix our eyes on the author and perfecter of our faith, Jesus Christ, so that we will not sin, so that we will not succumb to that temptation. And that's the, that's the benefit of having God's word in our hearts, hidden, planted in our hearts. That's why these these moments with with God in these in these these precious moments when we spend time in His Word are so valuable to us, so precious to us. And then the psalmist says, "I praise you, O Lord. I praise you. Do you praise the Lord every day?" I hope you do. I encourage you to do so. I encourage you to, to find moments each and every day to sing praises to God, to give him all the praise and the glory. 
it saddens me when I when I hear of people who say, I don't I don't I don't have anything to be thankful for. And I think, are you kidding me? Look around you. The very fact that we are living and breathing is reason to give God praise and glory. We are so blessed, friends. We are so blessed. And we have all manner of reasons to give God glory and praise and thanksgiving for all the means and ways that he has provided for us, blessed us, led us, saved us. The psalmist says, I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. Teach me. Lord, may you find us as as hungering and thirsting after you. May you find us eager to learn from you so that we can walk in your ways, so that we will walk according to your decrees, your commands, according to your word. Teach us how to be more and more like your son, Jesus. We praise you, O Lord. Teach us how to praise you more, how to worship you more, how to love you more, that we may bring glory and honor and praise to you. I invite you to make that your prayer this day, friends, to give God thanks and praise for all the ways that he has blessed you. And then submit yourself to being taught by him how to walk according to his will, according to his ways, for his glory. That we may, through the power of Holy Spirit and God's help, become more and more like Jesus each and every day. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you plant your word deep within our hearts. And that we have ready access to your word for encouragement and hope when we need it most. We thank you, O God, that you loved us so very much that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to dwell among us, to teach us your ways, your character, your love, your grace, and that he was willing to lay down his life on the cross for ours. O Lord, help us to live according to your word. Teach us your decrees, O oh God. Teach us to be how to be more and more like your Son, Jesus, that we may bring glory and honor to you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse or two from Psalm 119 we continue on our journey through this season of Lent. And so, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.